What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be cutting up my Evo X even more. So, if you guys remember previously, I cut up the fenders on my Evo uh, so that I could add fender vents so that it would help expel air from the fender area or the wheel well. Now that had two added benefits. One is that it helps cool the area by taking out the hot air that's been trapped uh, in the area and heated up by the brakes. And then the second one, it helps increase uh, downforce. So today I'm going to be cutting uh, some big ass holes in the hood and adding in some hood vents. Uh, so the benefit for this is going to be that it's going to uh, help evacuate the air in the engine bay. So it'll keep the engine bay nice and cool. And then it'll also help increase flow uh, from like the intercooler and the radiator and all of my heat exchangers by kind of creating a vacuum effect, so to say. So it'll help suck air out or it'll help uh, so to say, restrict uh, or unrestrict the airflow from the front of the car going through all of the heat exchangers, and then it'll be able to escape out the hood, so to say. Um, so I got a head start on this. I kind of did it partially ghetto. Uh, I didn't do it like I did the um, the fender vent install. I that I did really nice. I put masking tape and kind of marked everything out pretty nice. Uh, but I kind of gave up um, on this install. Uh, so bear that in mind and I'll just show you guys what I did so far and then we'll get to the whole cutting process and test fitting and things like that. So I don't know if you guys can see here but I lightly marked the hood directly with a pen and I marked holes where I'm gonna have to drill the holes uh, for the rivets so I kind of used the template put masking tape on the corners and marked it around so that I knew it was set up exactly how I wanted it to. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is definitely not my best work, but I kind of don't care. <laughs> so, anyways, this is the vent. So I'll kind of place this over here so you guys get an idea of what it's going to look like. But... Those fins that are flat now, once I cut out the holes and mock test it, I'm actually going to bend them to certain degrees. So it's actually going to be going from almost 90 degrees, about 80 degrees, going all the way down to about like 15 degrees. Uh, that way, uh, the airflow going over it will help suck air out. Um, and then also, before I install it right now, it's just regular like aluminum. Um, nothing fancy, so I'm going to get that powder coated black so it looks nice and clean. So, next up now, I'm actually just going to pop the hood and put um, a tarp underneath the engine or over the engine bay so that it protects it and no metal shavings go inside of the engine bay and I don't have to worry about anything. And then after that, I will get the grinder or the, uh, sorry, the, um, cutter the angle grinder with a cutting blade and then we will get to cutting this out so just like last time with the fenders um, you want to drill out the holes first while the hood still maintains some kind of structural rigidity because that'll make life a lot easier rather than cutting out the hole first and then um, cutting out the hole first and then drilling the holes because then you know the hood's gonna lose its rigidity so I measured out the holes on that uh, hood vent itself, and it came out to be 3 16 So I got a 3 16 bit. I also have some rivets that are going to fit that, but that's also for a later date. So I'm going to drill these holes out right now on both sides, and then after that, I can get to cutting. Yeah. So all the holes came out nice, lines up with the, not the template, but the actual hood vent itself. So that's good. Now comes the fun part of 
using an angle grinder with a cutting blade to cut this piece out so it'll be a nice big hole. So this is what it looks like when the holes are finally cut out. Now I apologize, I thought that I pressed record when I was setting up to cut the hole so you guys could see how I did it, but I guess I ended up fat fingering it and not pressing record. Um, but yeah, just simply just used the angle grinder with a metal cutting disc and cut straight down. Not my best work by me by any means, but I really kind of didn't care too much. Uh, you know, I just wanted to kind of get the job done. So, now with this guy. Oop, this way. So now what I have to do is I'll get some of the rivets. Uh, I won't rivet it in place 100, I won't rivet it in place. There we go, got it out. But I will use the rivets to kind of temporarily hold it. Um like in, in the spot that it's supposed to be, and then I'm gonna bend the fins up all, and then match the other side, and then I'll take these guys to get powder coated, and then once they're powder coated, I will rivet them in so that they are in for good. And then also, uh, before I do that, I'm just gonna go grab um, my Dremel, and uh, with one of the little sanding uh, rolls, or whatever you wanna call it, I'm just gonna uh, deburr like the edges here so there's no sharp edges or anything like that or there's like little leftover bits and pieces um, so yeah I'm pretty pumped to how this will come out and this is gonna actually help cool down temps significantly uh, with both my oil and trans cooler now being able to get all that airflow released outside of the hood and here we are the almost finished product now i don't know why i think earlier i said that i was going to bend these at different intervals which is partially true these first two fins are almost i mean not almost 90 degrees but they're yeah they're they're definitely more than 45 degrees a little bit more but anyways i maintained almost the exact same angle for all the back fins same on the other side for some reason i thought that i needed to go gradually from like 80 degrees down to 15 degrees but that's not true whatsoever anyways so now i gotta pop these guys off take them over to my friend adrian to get powder coated and then after that well i guess between that and installing them I'm going to have to clean up the Evo, get all these aluminum shavings from the hood, uh, wipe down. I mean, you can see I kind of maybe over there that's all up on the windshield, those little corners here. Yeah. So I'll do that in the meantime, get this stuff powder coated and then get these riveted on and then these will be good to go. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, so I will be posting a video hopefully in a week or two just showing you guys when it's finally installed and the hood's nice and clean, the whole car is clean, uh, and the vents are powder coated black so you guys can see what it looks like versus kind of like the, you know, aluminum look uh, right now. Um, but yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm always trying to push out more content. Uh, whenever I have the time to do so or whenever I have a new project, I try to record it and share it with you guys. Um, if you like the video, please like it. And then also, um, if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, comment down below. I'll be more than happy to respond to your guys' questions or comments or anything like that. So, until the next video, take care, guys.